Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to some BMNG. So today we got a fun little surprise. Saw that Spencer Johnson has released uh, to his Patreons a new map. Now, if you're not familiar with Spencer Johnson and BMG, he, he makes the absolute best maps for BMNG. If you play BMNG Drive, find Spencer Johnson's maps, download them all. Now, if you want this one, you have to be a Patreon of his, and I am happy to give money to him to create things like this. So, I have not, all I have done so far is I've spawned in. I have not done anything, I have not messed around, I have not explored anything with this map. So, you and I are going to explore this together, we're going to see what we see, find out what there is around here. And I think we're going to start off doing it in an Abishu Hopper. Now, this is the Downhill Madness version 1.0. Having played his other Downhill games, we're going to start off with at least an off-road vehicle. The Downhill Madness 1.0. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in between... On top of this, but you know what? I fit right here, so I'm going to go right here and see what happens. Like I said, this is all brand new to me. Oh, uh, this looks like it might just be a massive jump. Is is that, is that lava? Oh, that can't be good. That can't be good at all. Come on. Can we make it over? Can we make it over? Can we make it over? Woo! Oh, we did not land, but at least we did not hit the lava. So, yeah, apparently there is uh, some lava. Now, that was the middle track there. I wonder what... I wonder what these other ones have. So, right now we're going to do a little bit of exploring here. But I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to have to switch over and... Bring in some AI and kind of see who can make it down the hill. This looks like we might bear a roll, hopefully, over the lava. I don't know. I mean, it, hoppers are pretty good at rolling, but not necessarily where you want them to roll. Oh, that's almost survivable. Oh, not anymore. Yeah. So, so far, I am so excited about this map. Woo! Oh, we got a river over there. Got some more roads over there. I just want to, I'm going to spawn down here because I want to see what's after this lava. And I don't think I'm going to. Oh, that is right off of uh, the back of the hopper. All right. I don't think I was going to make it here on my own so we just did a little you know, little flying over it's fine just to see what else we can find on this map like i said this is i just hit the default spawn location so i don't even know what this is called but i'll call it the lava jump so far oh we got another jump oh, oh save it save it save it save it save it oh almost Oh, did not save it. That's okay. We'll just uh, jump back up onto the track here. Yeah, the hopper might not have been the best choice for this one. I have a feeling it will be a good choice for some of the other routes. But let's see where this... We're jumping into is that like a stadium or something? An arena? Or... Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't, I don't even jump. Is it just the finish? Right into the sand. Yep. So definitely did not make it there in one uh, one shot. But we'll get back to it. Maybe we will be able to do that. Let's explore what else we have here. All right. So this one was train jumps. Ah. Gotcha. 
Uh, we also have River Rapids, Racetrack, Easy Track, Medium Track, and Hard Track. Well, let's jump onto the Easy Track, shall we? All right, so I think uh, the hopper might be a decent uh, choice for this. So let's just roll with it. Let's just see what happens. Oh, uh, it looks like we got some uh, speed bumps over on that side. Oh, speed uh, things over the whole thing. Oh, a little jumps on the edge if you're riding the wall. Uh, uh oh, okay. Okay. So this is this is labeled the easy one. Woo! But you don't have the right vehicle. It still would not be very easy. Do we clear that? Oh, right over the lava. Oh, picking up some speed now. Oh, that look Ooh, the suspension on this, I'm impressed. Oh, uh, 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 maybe I shouldn't have been so impressed. Ride the wall. Save it. Ride the wall. Hey, cross the finish line. That counts as finishing, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. All right, so easy. This is fun. Easy single player. I could definitely see having some fun with that multiplayer and uh, ending up you know, running each other off the road. Friendly, you know, nothing too crazy. But let's jump up to the medium track and see uh, what this one looks like. All right, so we got a nice big starting line, lots of lanes here. Oh, that already does not look good. All right. Oh. So, uh oh, I think I'd have to hit this jump because I want to get over here. Oh, no, no, the jump was a bad idea. I wanted to, oh, there is a little ramp over the, uh, all right, we're going to start it over. I was worried about the lava. I didn't want to run right into it, but it looks like there is a little ramp over the lava. So, that's fine. Got a nice little uh, tube there that I would not want to hit. That looks like that would be difficult to control. All right. We're going to clear the lava here. Avoid that. Let's see what do we got? Um, let's go left. Oh, I think left was a bad idea. Oh. I don't know what's to the right, but this is definitely... Some serious uh, whew, obstacles there. All right. Like uh, another jump over lava, varying uh, length on that jump. Oh. Downhill mayhem. I think I was saying madness earlier. Downhill mayhem. Now there's a screenshot for you. All right, so we did survive. I do want to try that one more time, not taking the bridge. We did, we survived till the end at least. I'm curious about this tunnel. I, I feel like going into this is a horrible idea because you got to slow down to not just run right into where the tunnel uh Drops off right there. And we got a flat tire. And that gained us nothing. Except for <laughs> that. Which is not so good. Uh, yeah, that... That did not work out so well. Oh, our engine started to boil. How about that? All right, let's uh let's not hit that pipe this time.
We will aim for that second pipe, though. I'm curious about that one. Okay, nothing there. Just a obstacle that you don't want to get in between. All right, there's the bridge we took last time, so we'll stay to the right this time. See what we skipped over. Oh, looks like we got... Oh, suspension. Pothole. Pothole with a jump. More suspension. And... Woo! Save that. Do we have enough speed to get over? Yes, we do. Now, of course, all of these are a lot easier to do if you slow down, you know, control your speed. Nah, that's not how you play these maps. You just go full throttle and see if you can survive. And if you do, you get the payoff of smacking right into a wall and turning your vehicle into a cube. All right, so that was the medium, medium track. So let's let's jump up to the hard track. That is a neat uh, thing that the medium track actually goes between all of these. Uh, but let's jump over to the hard track and see what happens with that. And what's this between the medium and hard track? There's just a whole bunch of little tracks there. Huh. I have to go check that out. All right, so let's see how hard the hard track really is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably pretty hard. All right, what do we got? Some neon stuff there. Got to jump over here. We're going to try to avoid. Oh, yeah, more suspension stuff. Oh, we got suspension and a jump. Can we... Right between them and avoid the next one as well. Yep. All right. Oh, oh, uh, um, that's less than ideal. Yeah, about that. Well, I mean, we're still rolling. On one wheel, that's kind of facing downhill, even though our vehicle's not. Actually picking up some speed, too. Oh, look, there goes one of our tires up ahead. Well, let's just uh, see what else we have in store for, in store if we make it past that point. Oh, that looks like a dangerous jump right there. Oh, some oh, rough suspensions. Testing right there. Come on, keep going, keep going. That looks like that's the end. Go, 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 go. Don't stop now. You got this. You got this. Go, go, go. 18 miles an hour. You still you still have it in you. I believe in you, Hopper. Go, go. Hop your way down to the sand. Come on, you just need to touch the sand. Go. Come on. Uh, don't pay attention to this. Do, do, do. Whee. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see at all. We're just watching it roll down on its own. I'm not doing anything to help it. It's just, you know, magical hand of God just grabbing and moving it along. And we touched the sand. Woo! So I don't know if you can count that as surviving. Uh, probably not. And if you ignore the node grabs at the end, I mean, if you ignore the last few seconds there, which I definitely did not use node grabs on, of course, uh, we did make it down to the bottom, kind of. 
So, yeah, that's the tough track. I can see why it's the tough track. But when I was looking in the map, I got curious about those tracks right next to us that don't have a uh, start point. At least not that I saw. These ones right here. Yeah, we're going to go down to pink or magenta or whatever one this one is and see what happens. Oh, uh, um, brakes. Okay. Survived that. Oh, did not hit the brakes on that one. Okay, we're still alive. And we get between the jumps. Uh, we're lost our spare tire. It's okay, we don't need it. Oh boy, oh boy. Hold it together, hold it together. All right, we got it, we got it. Oh, under the side, come on, roll back under the wheels, wheels. Race off the wall. And the bear roll into the finish. All right. So it looks like we have regular one, maybe one with jumps, one with uh, I've heard them, call, heard them called Fruit Loops, uh, macaroni, noodles, hoops, checkpoints, as well as, and then we have the uh, giant potholes after that some jumps and then I'm not sure what the blue one is all about so let's back up and go check that blue one This one, or is it the one after this? Let's pull up and take a look. Uh, it looks like it is this one. Oh, and it looks like that is moving water. Oh boy. Let's just see how much the water takes us. Okay, the water takes us pretty darn fast. Um, all right, can we uh, get between the rocks here? Oh. Oh, wow. That, uh, that would not feel so good. Yeah. Is it even possible to survive this? I mean, you have to dodge all of the jumps and all of the suspension pieces, because otherwise, well, y you saw what happens. You turn a very nice vehicle into this. Well, since we're playing with water, why don't we go ahead and just jump over to the water section, the River Rapids. Now, this is probably not the right vehicle to do the rapids in because, I mean, we do have a snorkel, so that'll help. But the wide draw, maybe it floats. I don't know if that would help or hurt in this situation. Oh, 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 I don't think it matters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is no controlling this. Oh, boy. All right, come on. Please stay upright. Flip back over. Ooh. All right, we can try to turn it a little bit. Oh, don't roll, don't roll. All right, got the snorkel back out. Engine's dry. Hey, get back in that water. Um. <laughs> uh, apparently I have a vehicle now that just likes to do donuts. 
might have something to do with that uh, bottom or that back right wheel that's facing the wrong direction. Well, let's just do this and work our way right back up and jump right back in. Come on in. The water is fine ish. Woohoo! Oh, oh, wow. Our front end is destroyed already. There goes a lot of the rest of it. Back onto our uh, wheels. Oh. All right, lost a lost a wheel. That's fine. We don't need it. Oh, oh. Uh, I think we just lost the entirety of the body. Yeah. Well, yeah. There it is. <laughs> um, I I. I kind of wanted that. Can we can we have that back? Catch up to it? No, no, please. Oh, uh oh, there goes the last little bit. Uh, well, we still have an engine. That engine mount is uh, pretty sturdy in this vehicle. The chassis, a little less so. I mean, we are turning it into a taco. Oh, now we're on fire. Wait, does the water put the fire out? It does. That's amazing. Who would have guessed? Oh, we're back on fire. And we're back. Put it back out. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of rapid. Oh, really? Really? Uh, we're not going to end it like that on something I can node grab to the side. Holy crap, this thing is stuck. That's a lot of water pushing up against it. Oh, I think we're actually glitched into it. So, you know what we're going to do? Get a nice fresh vehicle. And yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we lost the tire again. Two of them this time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, our water, our engine's flooding with water. What will we ever do? Is it possible to get down, holy crap, any of this in a drivable condition? It, it can't be, right? There is zero chance that you're able to do that and drive away from it. I mean, I think even if you have a tank, you're not able to do that. Whew. All right, so let's... Jump back into the map here. Let's go check out this racetrack. Now we've been doing everything with the hopper, but you know what? The hopper's not a racetrack type vehicle. <sighs> Looks like there's a lot of turns. I'm thinking maybe the Charrier FCV. Kind of get like the rally uh, edition. Um, you know, something that's made for turns and yeah. Sure, why not? Well, here goes nothing. Now this one, I'm actually going to try to steer and drive the track. Oh boy. All right, we got a brake, 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 turn. Oh, I actually, brakes on this thing are good. There's that steep bank. Woo.
All right. It looks like we got a little uphill section here. I'm afraid of what might be over this blind hill. Oh, uh, it turns more than that. All right. Let's get ourselves back up onto the track, shall we? Then that that never happened. There we go. Look at that. Exactly. Yeah. Editor, cut that section out, right? Fine. And you can definitely go faster on those turns with the high bank like that. So this one doesn't have high banking. But this thing is sticking to the ground pretty good. There's there's the bank to help us. sharp bend here. Let's see if we can just almost almost pulled that off and made it look like I knew what I was doing. Okay, got a bridge over that. I was wondering where we were going to go. We got some uh, nice stands there. And a finish line. Woo! That's a fun racetrack. I'm going to have to invite some friends onto a server and uh, do some racing. And I'll do that. All right. So let's, let's see anything else up here that uh, looks fun. And we just have straight up sand jumping, it looks like there. Same with uh, grass and snow. Yeah. You know what? We're going to quick travel back to the easy track. I'm going to go back and uh, uncheck my uh, point here because otherwise that'll drive me crazy. We're going to back up and let's see how this does in the sand. Now, Spencer Johnson, not only does he make amazing maps just in terms of the playable areas, but like this isn't even one of the areas that are designed to be a race or a downhill mayhem or anything like that. And it's still all well put together and still a lot of fun. And... Yeah, I, the community needs more people like that, that's for sure. So thank you, Spencer Johnson. Woo! All right. Well, I think... I think we need to know... We know what needs to happen next, right? And if you don't know, well, now you know. We are going to go up to the hard track. Quick travel there. And we are going to change our vehicle. You know what vehicle do you think might be good for this? I'm thinking the Widgeon. 
And you know what? We're just going to go with a base widgeon. And we're going to scramble everything. Oh no, my scramble mod's not working, is it? Well, that sucks. Let's uh, let's see if we can't uh, quickly uh, fix that. Nope, that's not scrambling at all. I think I have another scramble one in here, so let's uh see if we can find that and make that work. So that's the random vehicle spawner and config that'll pick random presets for that vehicle, which is not quite what we want. But oh, I think we'll just have to uh, run them uh, normally and not uh, not scramble them then, I guess. We'll save that for another day, another, uh, another video. All right. So we'll just go with base uh, widgeons to start with. And we are just going to go in here manage and clone go in here manage clone go in here manage and clone go in here manage clone except we don't want that over there oops here shift c we want to go back over to this here, drop that down, and then clone. And you know what? We're going to clone one more, and that one's going to be for me. And we're going to back up right into another vehicle. Fine. And that way we can get a little bit of a view of this as we all race down. All right. So, pause it. Going to open up, go to AI. I don't know which one is the best for this, so we're just going to hit... You know what? We'll hit flee because I'm behind them. So, we'll go with flee and then... Three, two, one, let's unpause it and go. Okay, all right, we got a nice little pack of them right there. Oh, 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 yeah, the, oh, wow, that actually survived uh, hitting the suspension. I'm impressed. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe flee was not the, uh, right, uh, thing to do. All right. So let's, uh, open back up. Actually, we're going to shift C back up. Down so we don't break our car and F7. Oh, that looks, yeah, it'll be fine. And we'll go AI and we'll just do uh random on the AI and let's see what that what happens with that. They all gonna merge right to the middle again. Uh, looks like them, they might. Oh, we got got some. Uh, oh, we got one upside down over there. Are they all gonna run right into that again? Yeah. All 
Alrighty. Maybe that won't work quite the way that I wanted it to. There's probably a better way to do it. Uh, I just don't know how myself. So, pause. And we will... Uh, move. Move. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else here that we should explore? You know what I think we should do? I think... Uh, I actually, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fly away from here. Fly down to the beach at the bottom. And I'm going to get uh, one of my favorite off-road vehicles a chance to make it up the sand. Don't know if it's possible. Don't know if uh, you know, how this is going to go, but there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, this is looking uh, a little daunting now that I'm down here looking at it. Yeah, take that, Widgeon. All right, so let's uh, switch to a more capable vehicle. Much more capable vehicle, in fact. So we could do Dune Kicker or the Rock Basher. Um, let's see. Yeah, might have to might have to go with one of those. I don't have all of my uh all of my mods active, it appears. I thought I did. I thought I had I'm gonna take a quick look. What was the name of that mod? So vehicles. As soon as I see it, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, of course that's the name of it. Yeah, so I have a lot of mods here, obviously. Um, some might say too many, but I, I keep most of them deactivated most of the time. So, uh, it helps. And it also helps to just, uh, you know, give BeamNG as much RAM as possible. To, you know, make sure that you can do all the crazy fun stuff and have it not destroy your con computer in the process, right? All right, okay, maybe the uh, vehicle that I wanted uh, no longer is on my system. How about that? All righty. Well, ain't that something? That's all right, because we do have the very capable Rock Basher, Rock Crawler version. Let's uh, make that a blue. Blue's fun. Place current. All right. Now, I can already tell you we're, we will need to lock the differentials and go to low gear. We're not even going to mess around trying anything else. Because that is steep. And you know, we're moving. We don't have a whole lot of traction on the sand, but enough so far. Oh, okay. Easy down. Easy there. Settle down. Okay. You know what? We might be able to go into high gear. For now. Although, that's probably dangerous. Uh, we're probably just going to launch ourselves and flip. Yeah, let's have fun and try, right? Ah, 
tires digging in. We're actually going up this a lot easier than I thought so far, but uh, that is looking a little rough up ahead. Not going to lie. Let's see, if we go to the left here. Might ease into these a little bit more, maybe. Work our way around and then back to the left in this little valley crevice thing here, right here. Oh, come on. Save it. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, there is nothing to stop our roll, is there? Yeah, we're going all the way back down. Okay. Well, we got a little bit of a lean going on. And none of our tires move. That's that's unfortunate. Actually, it looks like we. There we go. Huh. All right. So we are definitely. Oh, that front right is uh, shredded. Let's see how capable this thing is as a three wheeled vehicle. With uh, no real suspension. Oh, and there goes that front right tire entirely. Ah, entirely. Sorry. Can we, uh, we're actually going on three wheels here, three wheels and broken everything. Oh, that sounded horrible with the suspension, not really doing anything at the moment. Our rear axle is uh, barely hanging on. Oh, oh, that's not a good place to be. Come on, come on, come on. Dig in there, dig in there. Go, go, go. We got this. I have faith. I still have faith. All right. Go across, go across, don't roll it, don't roll it, don't roll it, don't roll it. Uh, it's rolling. I told you not to. Why? Oh, rear drive shaft is broken. We're down to one wheel drive. And that wheel is, uh, has seen better days. Yeah, I don't think we're making it with that. Well, let's uh, respawn. I think we can go back into high for the time being. Right, find a path right up here. Go a little to the left. Try to cross a little bit. It's like, ooh, don't, don't get too uh, off angled there. There we go. Aim back uphill. Get some uh, throttle underneath us. Okay, that looks like a pretty steep base. Can we go up here and around it? Right here, maybe? Yep. All right. There, there's some, uh, there's some options here.
Okay, so now this, if we go to the right, try to get up this face here. I'm worried up. Oh, actually, we probably could go into that little valley, but we made it up this, so let's ride this a little bit. Oh, we still have a still have a long way to go, don't we? I was heading more sideways than up for a while there. It looks like. That's all right. Don't go too fast. Don't, don't get air. I don't want to get air. Oh crap, crap, crap. crap. Okay, we're gonna steer down a little bit and try to slowly work our way back uphill. There we go. We don't want to, don't want to catch our tires sideways and just roll them. Oh, like that. No, that's what we didn't want to do. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Can we get this to stop, stop, please, 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 no, please, quit, quit doing cartwheels, quit it, stop it, does it help if I turn to the right, no, does it help if I turn to the left, well, I lost a wheel, Yeah, I think we got to restart from there. All right. We're going to stay a little bit further to the right this time. And we're just going to charge this hill. Because what could go wrong? Actually, oh, I take it back. I see potential path right here. One steep spot in the middle, but then it looks like it's... Uh, Potentially passable. So if we can go here, hug this right side, and then go to the left, and put it into low. Oh nope. I really need to switch that to some key binding on my controller. I can just push a button instead of having to take my hand off the controller to go put it in low. All right. We're still functioning. Mostly together. All right, so let's try this again in low range. We pick up some of our uh, debris on the way up there. All right, there, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. We're almost there. We've almost made it. All right, let's switch back to high gear since we're not having to go up that ultra steep stuff. We don't have to hear the red lining constantly. All right, we are switching back though for this one. Now, it looks like I'd probably make it a little easier down there, but that's not fun. I think we I think we can make this right here, right here. Ready? Bam. Look at that. Easy, easy peasy lemon wheezy. Back to high gear. And here we go. Woo. So, did not do it in one vehicle. Had to restart a few times. Not in the best of shape. But we did make it. Eventually. Now we're going to work our way down the uh, medium course here.
We're gonna let off the gas and uh, let it uh, coast a little bit. Probably gonna oh break lots of stuff. I was gonna say probably gonna blow the engine, but uh, I forgot about that pothole. Yeah, that's broken. All right. But, I mean, I do love the suspension on this thing. And then the low tire pressure, get see that those tires cushion and grip. All right, we probably need to get some speed, though, to make it over... Oh, can we go off the medium height ramp, but aim to the left of the shorter? Almost. Uh, almost had that. Yeah. Luckily, all it takes is a button to get rid of that. Only fixing a car was that easy in real life, right? And that cheap. All right. And it looks like we're just about at the uh, end, of, end of the track here. We can come up here. And let's come back to right where we started. Let's finish off with uh, one more run. Oop, no, we don't want that. I wonder if there's a specific vehicle in mind that has this wide of a wheelbase to actually fit inside those grooves. I don't think I have anything that big. Would be fun to find out. We'll have to keep watching uh, Spencer Johnson's videos and other great YouTubers like uh, Moto and Neological. Oh, and I cannot keep this thing straight. All right. There we go. Ow. So is that actually a wall there? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that was less than ideal. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of uh, Downhill Mayhem by Spencer Johnson. Go check out his Patreon. Go check out his other creations. Give the guy lots of money so you can keep making maps like this and like some of your other favorites that you've probably have already played. So hope you enjoyed it. I certainly have. I look forward to hitting this with some friends and causing some pure chaos. And maybe we'll see you in uh, one of the servers. All right. On that note, I'm heading out. Have a good one and peace.